Hey everyone, this is Tiff from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up restrictions on your playtime and games for your child accounts on the PlayStation 5. So what we want to do is go up to settings right here and select this, and then go to family and parental controls. Then we can go to PS5 console restrictions right on top, and the default code is 0000. You will probably want to change this if you haven't already. So let's type this in. Then the first option is user creation and guest login. Now, this says prevent people from creating users or logging in as a guest on this PS5. Also, existing users who have never signed into PlayStation Network will be unable to sign into PlayStation Network. So if you want to restrict your child making new accounts on the PlayStation 5 to try to get around your parental controls, go to don't allow. Otherwise, if you do allow, you can go to this settings, parental controls for new users. If we select this, we can restrict PS5 games, PS4 games, Blu-ray, DVDs, country or region, or the use of PlayStation VR 2 and the web browser. We can go to all these different settings and we can go to restrict or we can set specific ages for the games that they can play. So if they try to make a new account, well, we can just limit them to the same settings as their previous account they were playing on before. And then at any point in time, we can go to temporarily disable PS5 console restrictions. And as soon as we turn off our PlayStation 5 or put into rest mode or turn off this specific settings, all the parental controls will be back on our PlayStation 5. So if you want to quickly disable them, go to this section. And then here is where we can change your PS5 console restriction passcode. So type in a new passcode right here, other than 0000, which is the default. Now let's back out to the parental controls menu and then go to family management under here we can see the time play for our child today on their account so it looks like my two accounts have not played at all today so let's select one of the accounts and we can individually set restrictions for each account so we can go to playtime settings right here and then we can set up restrictions for the playtime now you can notify your child every five minutes that their time is up otherwise after that certain duration you can automatically log them out of their PlayStation 5. Then you can go to duration and playable hours. You can go to same every day. Otherwise, you can set up specific hours and play times each day by days of the week. And then you can set up maybe an hour Monday. You can go to two hours on Tuesdays and you can do like a start time. If you only want them playing from like 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. or something like that, you can set it up in this menu and they'll only be able to play for a certain duration between that time as well. So you can set the duration. So maybe if you only allow them to play like three hours a day or something like that. So go through this menu and then save. And then at the bottom, you have the everyday settings Then let's back out. And then you can go to the time zone and change that, make sure it's accurate. Then here are the parental controls. There's no restrictions on it. Now we can go to specific levels if we wanna quickly just set these. So late teen or older, early teens, child, no restriction, or you can go to customize. So here are the PS5 games right here. We can go to do not restrict. And if you notice, as soon as you get to 16, the mature games will drop off and they won't be able to play those. And as soon as we get to age 12, the teen games will drop off and they will only be able to play games that are E for everyone. Then do the same thing for your PS4 and PS5 games. You can restrict those based on age. Same thing for Blu-ray disc, DVDs, the country or region, and the use of PlayStation VR 2. Then here's the web browser. In certain games, you might be able to open up like a web browser link or in messages. You can restrict the use of the web browser completely so they can't go onto like google.com or Bing and search images or go to different websites from there. And then here's the online experience right here, communication and user generated content, restrict voice chatting and messaging with other players, including your child's friends, as well as viewing or sharing videos, images, or text on PlayStation Network. You can decide if you want to restrict that or not. Then here's the age filtering for online content. You can go to do not restrict or restrict. Restrict access to online features of PS4 games and hide games and content in PlayStation stores based on your child's age. So you might want that on. And here's the monthly spending limit. And this will come from your main family manager account. So if you want to add like money to your child's wallet, you have to add it to your family manager's account first. And then you can set the monthly spending limit under here. So let's say you have $300 in your account and you only want your child to spend $100 a month. Well, you can set the limit right here and then go to confirm. So at any point in time, you want to add money to your child account, you have to add it to your family manager account. Then go to yes to confirm all your settings. Then you have the option to go to allowed games. If your child is requesting to play a certain game, well, it will show up under this list. And then if your child's requesting to communicate 
in a specific game or other players it will show up under this list and this will be an exception to the restrictions you already have on there so you could allow a mature game but still have every other game restricted so hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out if it did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your six studios